Hey Exiles, PoE Academy here, bringing you short but high quality PoE tutorials. I know that many of you guys hate to play Path of Exile with two monitors and an encyclopedia lying next to it. That's why I want to show you how you can make your life much easier and go back to playing the game more rather than working on it. This video teaches you how to automate your trading experience. Watch the whole video and if you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments and I will share more tools and resources I personally use in future videos. Also, I really appreciate all the support. We just hit 1000 subscribers, which is something I'm very proud of. To celebrate this, I'm working on new graphic assets that I hope to implement in the next video. Ah, oh, trading. While being crucial for the game, many players, including me, hate the way how trading works in PoE. I really felt the same way until I found a tool called Live Search Manager. This tool was by far the most convenient improvement to my experience with Path of Exile. There are some players that use this sniping tool for a very long time, but I always felt bad about it. To me, it felt like cheating or I thought it was a bit shady. But like with most unfamiliar things, once you try them you discover that they aren't as bad as you'd thought they are. This video will show you why a live search manager is far superior than regular live searches, what you need to set it up and how you can use it for both leak start and more mature leaks. I hope that you already started to use live searches to snipe items and materials yourself and in case you haven't, make yourself familiar with live searches and how to use them properly. In short, a live search constantly checks the PoE trade API for new things that fit your searching criteria. You could have the same effect when refreshing your trade search every few seconds, but who on earth would do that? Obviously, you can set up multiple live searches for different items and criteria too. So what's the advantage of a player that uses a live search manager over a player that uses multiple live searches only? Well, in both cases you get notified when there is a new search result. If you're not using a live search manager, you must tap out to your browser every single time there's a new result, find the correct tab, decide whether or not to buy the item and whisper the person only to receive no answer at all in most cases. After some unsuccessful whispers you get frustrated and stop using the live searches anyways. We automate all this with a live search manager so that you don't really mind if people are not answering since you will be whispering so many people that there will be trade opportunities very often. So, how does this work? This image illustrates how the manager works. Looks a bit intimidating, right? Don't worry, it's actually quite easy. We use the same live searches we'd use anyways, but this time we put the link of every single live search in a YML file. Then the YML file is imported into the live search manager. The manager connects to the trade API of Path of Exile and every time a new search result pops up, it automatically copies the whisper message to your Windows clipboard. It's the same thing you would do manually if you click on the whisper button on any trade site. We could now open the chat, control V the message into the text field and hit enter, but luckily this process can be automated too. This is where auto hotkey and the auto whisper macro come into play. The macro simply mimic the whole process of opening the chat, copying the message and hitting enter in the blink of an eye. The best part is that you can bind the macro to any key you like by changing the key in the auto whisper macro with notepad++. I use it with my fifth mouse button for maximum convenience for example. Depending on the number of live searches and how many results are popping up, you can get a bit lost of what's going on so I highly recommend a trade macro that keeps track of all the trades. This way you can pay less attention to trading. Simply finish your map, do your stash management, do the trades that are available and delete all the other ones that haven't responded. Sounds great? Yes, it does. You will love it. Since it takes some effort to get everything up and running, I want to talk you through all the necessary steps to set up this method real quick. First, go to the websites in the description below this video to download the PoE Live Search Manager, the example YML file, auto hotkey, the auto whisper macro for auto hotkey and any trading tool of your preference. I personally prefer Mercury Trade, but that's completely up to you. Then go ahead and install every single piece of software. Once everything is installed, you have to put in your session ID into the Live Search Manager under the Account tab. Hit the big question mark if you don't know how to find this ID, there is a detailed guide on GitHub showing you how to retrieve it. Now go to the settings tab and check the field copy whisper message to clipboard as well as the field allow notifications. You can also use the test notification button to check if the program is running correctly. 
Now, you can connect your YML file to the Live Search Manager by going to the Searches tab and clicking on the folder icon with a small plus. Go to the YML files directory and open it. Keep in mind that this is my personal YML file that I started to use by day 10 of Delirium League for my Stormbrand Trickster, so it's rather niche but provides a good idea of how you can look for items. All searches should connect automatically once the YML file is loaded. In case you experience any issues, follow the link to the GitHub page in the description and check out the troubleshooting section. Finally, you simply run the AutoWhisper macro as an administrator and start your trading tool. Enjoy whatever you want to do in the game and hit your macro key whenever a new item pops up. Congratulations, you now know how to set up a live search manager. But what about creating your own custom YML file? What items should you search for? What are profitable niches? In my opinion, there are two categories of what you should use the manager for. First, sniping items or gear for yourself, or flipping items or currency to earn money. Let me introduce you to both of them. The Live Search Manager is a great tool to snipe good deals for your own build. There are two categories of items you want to look out for. The first one contains currency items that you need for your own build. If you plan to build a necromancer and want to craft good gear for yourself, for instance, you could start to buy essences of fear, pile them up and have a crafting session later on once you got your hands on the best in slot item bases. You could also buy specific maps or fragments for an under average price etc etc. The second category is rather common gear with a significant span of possible item roles. Let's say your build uses the Grelwood Shank Eternal Sword for example. The stat you'd be focusing on is Physical DPS, which is affected by both the weapon's physical damage and its attack speed modifier. The global physical damage of this weapon can roll anywhere between approximately 280 and 330. If we look at the search results for this weapon, the cheapest sword available on the market costs around 25 to 30 chaos at the time of recording this video. However, if we filter out all the swords with less than 320 physical DPS, the cheapest sword in the market starts at 70 chaos. Many people just don't look at the rolls when they sell their items, so every now and then there is a person that puts up his sword with very good rolls for a low price, which would be around 30 chaos in this case. Obviously, you want to use this technique to get your best in slot items with almost perfect rolls for average prices, which is something I abuse during both League Start and afterwards. Keep in mind that unique items are easier to snipe than rare items because they typically have more fixed roles, which results in less effort to set up the corresponding light search correctly. You can expand on this idea and start flipping gear, currency or whatever item you like for meta builds. The two best ways to check the current meta are either starter build compilations like mine that will be out next week or the build overview on PoE Ninja in a more mature league. Items that can be flipped well are a lot of unique items, many different nation cards and certain jewels. For unique items, you apply the same technique that you use for your own best in slot items. Additionally, you want to look for items with meta enchants on good bases. You can make a lot of money buying these items early in the league. When flipping divination cards, look at the price of the corresponding item, divide it by the number of necessary div cards and add a big discount to this price. I'd reduce it by an additional 25-50%. to 50%. If there are div cards at this price tag every now and then, try to buy them, hand them in once you have a full stack and sell the item that is granted from it for a nice profit. Keep in mind though that the prices at league start change rather quickly, so flipping div cards is less risky in a mature league. You can also snipe good deals when buying currency items such as fossils, resonators, essences, incubators, delirium orbs or fragments. Most sellers will sell up to 5 currency items for rather low prices and once you've piled up 30 or more of these items, you can sell them in bulk for sweet returns. You see, you can and should use this tool for sure. It makes your life so much easier and you'll eliminate many annoying issues with the current trading system. It requires some time to set up and you must maintain your YML file, but in my opinion the returns are just too sweet to pass on. What about you? Do you already use a live search manager or plan to do so after seeing this video? Are there any other items that can be flipped well? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And remember guys, I will publish my League Starter compilation next week so keep an eye out for that. There are some spicy builds in my pipeline. Many thanks for watching the video and see you in the next one.